Let's come on to the effects on the family and your partner, because that could be a sensitive topic. Mm, it can way. be, yeah. What was your feeling about how your partner coped? By the way, congratulations on the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's still around, bless him. He's been my rock, he's been my saviour. I mean, he had, he's had his problems, obviously, but men don't really talk about them, do they? They tend to bottle them up. Uh -huh. So, but he, he did say once he did want counselling, but then all of a sudden he said he was all right. So whether it's because he just actually got it out in the open, I don't know, but. Do you feel there should be any, a resource for caregivers <clears throat> and family members? I think there should be some more stuff available, yeah. Even if it's for them to just go off. I mean, you know, even if it's private sessions. Do they get anything from the voluntary sector in coping with cancer in your experience? They probably would if they came along, but obviously they were at work, so it's very difficult. So that's usually during work time, isn't it? So that's quite hard. They could do some time off for that. But yeah, I'm sure they, yeah. So it's for parents and carers. Um, it's for people that's been affected by cancer, not just people that have had cancer, so yeah. Mm. I often take a friend along sometimes that's been with me for a while. What was your impression of how worried <clears throat> about the, can, your health and your future health your partner uh, was you know, through, all, through all this compared to you? Do they, ha do they also have high levels of anxiety, stress, depression? Well, yeah, but he was depressed, I would say. And yes, he was very stressed, but he wouldn't show it. Mm. Um, my fear was him loving me with only one breast, obviously. Mm -hmm. I mean, they just tell you what you need to hear, but that's not good enough all the time. I mean, these these issues about body image and your confidence and self-esteem, Yeah. sometimes we don't really address those before. No. We just leave it to the person to just find out Get for on with it, yeah. yeah. It's not and ideal, is it? No, no. Because you do lose your self-esteem, you do lose your confidence, and you're losing part of your body. Having said that, some clinicians, some specialists and some of the breast care team do definitely address that and bring that up. Um, I mean, thinking about it now, I can totally understand it's, it's a very delicate area. Um, is there anything you can say to you know, viewers watching how they could um, deal with that? Because it's a big change to lose a part of your body. It is. Um, I had counselling before um, I lost my breast, which completely helped. Um, <clears throat> I think I'd have not gone through that, I might have suffered afterwards. And some people say, oh, no, they're fine up to the operation, then they suffer afterwards. So it's, it's finding the right balance and how you cope with it, I think. Um, like my partner says, oh, I love you no matter what, but you, you know, they're, they're just words. They're, anyone can say that, even my bloody mother. So <laughs> it wasn't really what I wanted to hear. Well, they're but, saying the right thing, but <laughs> it, was it actually what they really felt? Maybe not, but I don't know. I'd rather them say what they felt, really, and deal with that. You know, it, at the end of the day, it's a partnership, and you need to go through it together. It's your, both your journeys, isn't it? So were you two able to talk about that particular issue? Um, well, like I say, I had to cancel one operation because he wouldn't talk about it at all. He just involved my mum, and I didn't want my mum, I wanted him. Mm. Um, but I think he got over that initially, and that's when he said, well, I think I might need that counselling. I said, well, I'm sure I can get you some. Mm -hmm. But then well, after the operation, I came out the other side, so I think that kind of perked him up. I think he was just feeling what I was feeling, really. Maybe he was picking up on your emotions, yeah, and maybe as you was. improved, he was yeah. improving too. Yeah. There was a time I thought I was you know, at the end of my tether, but that was through chemo because it really did make me poorly. So as time went on, how did you find <coughs> his adjustment to things um, went? All right. And okay. now? Oh, he's wonderful now. And how long are we down the line? Um, we're two, well, it's been two years since I've had in treatment, mm. so well, it's two and a half years now. Yeah. Three years next May, since I've had any radio mastectomy or anything.